Physicians have the king's permission to see the prince on his birthday. To you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to Princey, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, sire. Where's my doggy? Where's my teddy bear? But your highness, today you are 21. It is time to put away your childish toys. Today you must become a man. Happy birthday, dear noble prince. Today you are 21. 21 minus none allows you to inherit the kingdom. A proviso, you must be able to produce an heir. If you don't produce an heir, we're all out of work. And even for a prince, opportunities are limited. You got any royal aspirin? No, no, no we've got something better. Much better. <laughs> A birthday present. The prince must go to the land of the fairies. <laughs> it is there he will find the cure. How will I know when I'm entering the land of the fairies? You don't have to know. They'll know. And once you have found yourselves in the mortal swim of the spermatosa, giving out what... what it what, will what, say, land of the fairies. What do you think? I, I, I'll get a, a horse and some guards to accompany you. No. I go alone and on foot. How much time do I have? If you don't get back by Thursday, you're not a prince. Yeah, and you'll lose the kingdom. Thursday.
sheep and don't know where to find them. Well, leave them alone. They'll come home. <laughs> Wagon and tails behind them, probably. If I could trust you, I'd tell you my trouble. Oh, you can trust me, little feller. I never see anybody but my sheep anyway. You see, I'm a prince. And I'm in deep trouble. Oh, I never met a prince before. Oh, what a relief. Those sheep are so hairy. <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, I kind of miss my teddy bear. Oh, you like animals too? I'm glad. What's your trouble? Tell me. If I can't produce an heir, I lose my kingdom. What's the matter? Can't you come? Where are you going? I think I can help you. You can? Tommy, good day. What a glorious day. You know, the girls are uh, open for business, if you know what I mean. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful, Madam Gussie Gander. Oh, I could just kiss your privates and grovel at your loins to give me this big opportunity in work. Thank you so much. I'll get business for us, I promise. Well, thank you, Tommy. You just do a good job and make Gussie real proud of you, okay? Oh, I will, Madam Gussie, I will. I'll get the suckers in here. Believe me. You just keep us filled, huh? In a manner of speaking, I will. But the jokes. Oh, boy, what an opportunity working the door in a classy joint like this for Madame Gussie Gander. Don't be so ungrateful. If it wasn't for me, you'd still be on food stamps. Just a little old lady in the shoe had so many children she didn't know what to do <laughs> until old Cyrus showed you, didn't I? Yes, Cyrus, yes. You, you did teach my girls the tricks of the trade, but you get your cut. Not on everything. <laughs> Cyrus, I don't turn tricks for anybody. <laughs> Hey, it's locked. <laughs> you bet your sweet little card piece it's locked. What's so hot about this room? Hell, I don't get a chance to see nothing. Oh, you're absolutely right. You don't get a chance to see nothing. You don't keep it locked forever? Oh, no, 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 no. Just until the right offer comes along. <laughs> Man, Tommy Tucker. What's jumping off? Say, how did you make out in that land deal? You know, where you sold the land to old King Cole, your boss? He's complaining about that. What's he complaining about? He's complaining because the land is under 20 feet of water in the Everglades. Oh, boy. Why'd you tell him? I said, schmuck, look at all the money you saved. You ain't got to put a pool in. Some people are never happy I get the same beefs. I sold some vibrators to some airline stewardesses the other night. They want their money back. Claim to chip their teeth. It's hard to make a buck. Man. I know, it's terrible. What brings you to these parts tonight? I'm checking out some new fluff for the king. Oh, we got some new stuff inside. Maybe you want to take a look. Get all new attractions. Go in. Oh, what a warm and wonderful human being he is. The king sends his greetings. Yeah, if that's all he sent, you tell that fat ass king, Cole. Hey, 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 featherhead. That's the king you're talking about. You keep talking that way, you're going to be wearing that card piece around your nose. Now, His Majesty always sends a small tribute in memory of the last time that he was in this elegant uh, establishment you got here. 
And this time he sent this. Thank you. Small change. What did we give him last time? One of the seven dwarfs? Hey. Oh, excuse me. Uh, he's just kidding. Tell His Majesty that I most humbly thank him. His Majesty would like to know uh, what you got for his pleasure tonight. And uh, His Majesty also told me to tell you that if you could uh, possibly arrange a virgin, he would not be adverse to uh, giving you a little extra schmear, if you know what I mean. Gussie sent me from the sure pleasure. Well, Gussie sent you. What's your name? Scheherazade. Scheherazade? From the Arabian Nights? From many Arabian Nights. <laughs> and then I met this prince in the woods, you know. I didn't know King Cole had any kids. Oh, no, he's not from here. He's from a faraway land. And he has a curse on him. What kind of a curse? Well, you see, it's like this. A long time ago... It's a king's ransom if you do it right, Cyrus. Right. That's the only way I know how. <laughs> but of course. There's a prince walking in the woods who has a hell of a problem with the ladies. And I think that if we solve his problem, oh, we'll cut into a fortune that you wouldn't believe. Today, my life has shown me a kind of lonely I never knew. My days have been a fable With me unable to tell the false from true I know I'll meet somebody And yet I don't know where I'm hoping that Somebody learns to care, wants to share, so will. please be forgiving if I view living in a different way. I'll find some strength to borrow. And face tomorrow, today. But how did you know? Little old birdie kind of whispered in my ear. But come on now, we're going on down the yellow brick road where Peter Pan learned to fly and Olive all about that and Tinkle Bell was Tinkle Lies. Come on now. We're going on down the yellow brick road. Um, <clears throat> what are you talking about? I'm talking about the shoe of pleasure. The Shoe of Pleasure? What? Little Bo Peep told me about the Shoe of Pleasure. Now, when you go in there, all your troubles will be over because Snow White and her seven little friends have never failed to turn on a gentleman caller. <sighs> I'll try. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work. If at first. 
first you don't succeed. Try it, baby. Try it again. That's good. Hey, that was fantastic. <laughs> but it didn't work. This looked like a job for Aunt Laveau and her love potion. And the vote! And the vote! I know she got to be around here somewhere. with the ladies. Hand me that bottle. Pour it in. Hey, that's mom's extra dry.
My bloodhound who knows it telling me there's a hookers in that shoe by the powers invested to me by King of Cole, who made me head of the vice squad. I think we're going to knock off of the shoe. What do we want to knock off of the place for? Let's go up there and knock off a piece. <sighs> you want to mall you? I don't. Wait. I think the doorman is going to go to lounge. Ah, this is a bigger chance now. Come on. It just didn't work. The, the bubbles tickled my nose, and, and, and the steam ruined my sinuses. I mean, I, yeah, I, I may never smell again. <laughs> Looks like rain. Cyrus, Cyrus, how are you? I'm glad you're back. Come on. How'd it go? Nothing happened. That's all that ever happens. Nothing ever happens. I mean, first Snow White with, with, with the dwarves. And the dwarves I've had up to here. And then the whips, and then the cockamamie cauldron with the... You're looking at a desperate person. Well, Cyrus, you're not taking care of our gentleman caller very well, are you now? I got it. What about the star attraction? Uh, nobody goes into the star room unless you're talking some uh, heavy money. Fifteen percent of all I own. Twenty. Sixteen, and that's my last offer. Um, let's split the difference. Eighteen, and you got a deal. Where is oh, she? Oh, wonderful. This place. Come on, baby. We're going to get us on that oh, I can't wait to see her. But no touching. Uh, you have my royal word. No, I mean you, Cyrus. Oh, for 18% of the royal exchequer, I'd give up pussy for life. If I have to, that is. And here we have our star attraction. Here we go. Come on, come on. Oh. Uh, I want you to know that I, I really appreciate this. Oh, you are shy, aren't you? You know these things take time. <laughs> right. For a minute, I thought it was going to turn out to be my dream princess. Well, I guess you can't hope her too much. Cyrus, I want you to know how grateful I am, how much I really appreciate everything that you've done. But, but I know who I want. And as long as there's any time, as long as there's a chance, I'm going to find her. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Just think. A virgin. I know she's here. But where? Never fear. My nose is a here. <laughs> Wait. Simp, you just blew 18% of a kingdom. She's on the top floor. Top floor. Cyrus, quick, there's a whole mob coming out of the elevator. You get rid of her, I'll take care of the prince. Quick, out the side door. Come on, let's go. Hi, everybody. Come on. The bitch. Virgin. 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 Look, I'll see you, Virgin. Virgin. Innocent girl. Hey. Hey. 
heck is going on here? My child, where are you? Where can you be? Room. Empty. Barren. No women. Least of all a virgin. You said she would be here. You, you and that nose of yours. I said the virgin was here. My nose will make no mistake. Your nose makes no mistake. Your nose, sir, stinks. Hey, you're not talking that way about my nose. That's all I got. My nose. And this is Shkivu who's over here. You get me a lot of trouble. You're going to pound a beat for this uh, and a half a pay. Wait. Yes? Everybody shut up. I smell something again. Yes? Trust me, King. The Virgin, she went this way. Follow me. Excuse me. Come on. Cyrus, put her in here. I had a nice long talk. Wait, I smell something. <laughs> My nose says she's on a decent floor. You three check in there, and I'll uh, go in here. Sure, boss. We have to go now. Really. Tell me, people. You remember everything I told you. Okay. All right. Okay. Goodbye. Is, there, is everything okay now? Is the prince in? Always. Is he up? Constantly. May we see him? Doesn't look good. Hi there. Now, wasn't that a wonderful motion picture, friend? Wasn't it marvelous? 
when the prince met the love of his life, and by golly, you know they've lived happily ever after. Now, we want you to go home. Tell your friends and neighbors about this warm and wonderful motion picture. It's a family picture, friends. Mom and the kids can come for the music and dancing, and Dad will enjoy the meat. Friends, I want to thank you the longest day you live.